what would be the next three steps they should take after listening or watching mm -hmm. to this mm -hmm. in life? Right, so mentally, you have to be ready to find your peace of mind. So you can start counting your blessings, start appreciating what you have, and uh, enjoy the flow of happy money. So when money comes in, you can say thank you for the money given to me. When you pay for the bills, thank you, I have enough abundance so I can pay the bills and start blessing people that you're giving money to. So by doing that, you can find your uh, peace of mind. Yes. And whatever you do, I think that's the that's basic. That's number one. That's the okay. base. And also, secondly, you have to start uh, figuring out your inventory, what you have and who you are. What type of inventory? Uh, both emotional and also uh, your gift. I never knew I could write until I was 33. Really? My uh, parents were so surprised, and my brother and sister, and many of my uh, uh, friends were so surprised that I became an uh, author. And I was the, <laughs> the one who got surprised most, by the way. Yeah. So I didn't know until I started writing. So I'm sure they have, you have some kind of gifts buried in you, and you have to multiply them, mm -hmm. uh, because only single gift it's not taking you far. But if you can multiply your gifts of uh, speaking, for example, and also listening, and the sense of humor, and the care, generosity, if you combine all of them, you become so unique. Yes. So once you become so unique, people <laughs> start just coming to you because you're more attractive. Right. Yeah, so. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's number two, is find out your inventory of your assets and your gifts. And I'm also assuming your inventory of like, how much money you have, your investments, yeah. your, what you... But it's not so important. Okay. Because if you are not making much, it's right. not right. Yeah. Anyway, right? What skills do you have? Yeah. Skills, yeah. Right. So if you are a net asset is uh, less than uh, $300,000, don't worry about investing. Right. <laughs> right, right, I right. think you should invest in yourself. Invest in you. And, and take your friends out for dinner because it's going to pay more dividend. Mm -hmm. So um, Be generous with your energy, your time, yes. your gifts. Yes. Uh, and then the third step would be start getting support from everybody. Everybody, You know, I have, say, for example, more than 10,000 uh, people um, sending me money every month as a, a form of subscri subs uh, mm -hmm. subscription online salon. Yes. So, and uh, I, I haven't promised anything to do for them. So it's just a love money. So can, you know... This I'm is gonna, what type of money? Love money. Love money. Yeah. So 10,000 people yeah. pay you money every month yes, just because they love you. Yeah. Um, $10. That's how they feel. Um, so I have enough trust from people. So the happy money, so almost like um, uh, is given in my custody so I can help other people. That's cool. So uh, if you start getting uh, fan clubs or uh, cheerleader, cheer supporters, so you can start with five people and you can uh, start having 10 people, 30 people. So the next economy will be very interesting because mm. uh, a lot of people support one another. So instead of working for one big company, say I have 300 people supporting me. Right. Say, uh, and you can uh, increase your monthly uh, support uh, money, say uh, $100 per month. You know, if I get a support from 30 people, $100 a month, that's $3,000. Right. And if you get 50 people uh, who are supporting you with $100, you already have a $5,000 income. So whatever you do, uh, you don't have to be the next entrepreneur of the world. You can satisfy, or you, at least you can have deep connection with 50 people, or 100 people who love you so much, mm. and who's not going to let you down when you fall. Yes. So if you have that strong trust uh, from people, uh, you don't have to worry about money for the rest of your life. Financial goals people come up with it's because they, uh, they want to feel safe. Sense of security. So you don't need to have a goal of $1 million. Because when you reach $1 million, you feel like this is more. not enough. I need more, right? <laughs> I yeah. need two. And when, I, when you reach two millions, no, 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 I think I should have ten. three. Yeah, three. <laughs> yeah, so instead, what I would recommend, imagine a joint account with, the, with your wealthiest uh, uh, acquaintance. You can think of me. Mm. Well, for me, I think of my mentor, Wahid Takeda, or Warren Buffett. 
Think about your imaginary joint account, and when something bad goes、uh, happens, you can withdraw as much as much money as you want. Really? So、uh, that the, this fun、uh, illusion,、uh-huh. you know, like imagination. What, that, what does that do for you when you have that imagination? You feel that you're not alone. Just imagine if you get、uh, that sense of security. You know, Louis,、mm-hmm. I'm gonna just、um, uh, you know keep you afloat as long as I live. Wow. And、uh, so go for it. You、okay. know, I'll text you if I need you, Cam. Yeah. <laughs> so, so if you get、uh, an endorsement from wealthy people like that,、uh, that's cool. You don't have to worry about.、It. Just so imagine. How does someone get an endorsement from someone who has a lot of money like that? I think. What you, can they do? I think you have to live your life purposes. That's another subject. But if you are living your life purpose, a lot of people support you. In my mind, wealth is、uh, an emotion. You know, it doesn't really matter how much you have, how much you make, because I've interviewed over the course of my career. I've interviewed many millionaires and billionaires, and some of them are very unhappy and very upset with everything. And also, among the people、uh, who are struggling with life, there are also happy people and unhappy people. So, I think wealth is an attitude. If you feel like you're so happy and so content with what you have, you are already wealthy. But if you have,、uh, uh, you have, if you have to struggle every day, and you cannot fi- find happiness、um, either in your business or in personal life, I think you're not wealthy, even if you have billions in your bank account. The people with the radiance of appreciation often attracts、uh, more people and more opportunities. So this is not a new age or a spiritual thing. It's a practice to to、um, to appreciate more. So、uh, what you appreciate appreciates. What should we be thinking about instead of like I want to make a million dollars? Should we be reframing that in a different way? First of all, you really have to figure out what you want in your life. So, do you want to be a, a happy person, or do you want to be a wealthy person? You can take both, but、uh, the way to happy and wealthy people only has an opening to、uh, aim for happiness first.、Mm, I love this because most people think once I'm there, then I'll be happy, then I'll respect myself, then I'll get the attention I want. But what I'm hearing you say is the only way to happy and wealthy is through happiness first. Yes, and then if you're lucky, or if it's your destiny, I would say, you may be rewarded with money. Money is the end result of what we get after serving the world. So instead of focusing on what you get, you have to really focus on what you give. And 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 our life is in the middle of giving and receiving. So unless we receive well, unless we we give well, we can receive. So we are in the cycle of appreciation or or resentment.、Um, either cycle you're in,、um, your life exists. So、uh, if you start appreciating your life about everything, including money, your life will be filled with money and appreciation. If your life will be filled with resentment, anger, and fear around money and also around life, your life will be also surrounded by li-、uh, fear and resentment. An anxiety. Whatever you invest could end up in half or thirty percent down. So instead, I recommend people start looking at invisible assets. Because、uh, what if、um, you lose everything overnight?、Uh, if you have gold,、uh, what if the government tries to take away to pay all the bills and stuff, which is really happening in China, by the way. Really. So if that happens. Um, I guess you have to be prepared for uh, uh, unthinkable situations. But as I said, if you have so many friends who can support you financially or emotionally, you're okay. So instead of、uh, having so much money in the bank account, you should have the trust and uh, um, uh, strong connections with、uh, friends around you, and also reputation with your clients. So. Whatever happens, if you have the strong connections with people around you, you can start over from a、uh, yeah from、uh, zero 
from zero. I asked you this in our last interview. I said, mm -hmm. okay, I can't imagine you've lost all your money mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. And you had to make a million dollars in a year. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember your answer, but I asked you this and you said, I said, what would you do? Uh -huh. And you said, well, I would just call my friends up and say, <laughs> can you give me money? I'd call 10, 20 of my friends up and say, can you give me a hundred thousand each? Or can I stay in your house for free? And you would offer a service to those wealthy friends uh -huh. that you've created trust and in, in, in invisible assets with. Right. And sell them something new or whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. And it's because you have great relationships. Right. That's why you can do that. Yes. So what I'm hearing you say, Ken, is it's important to invest in yourself, which is developing more cre credibility, mm -hmm. uh, respect, and a better reputation mm -hmm. with your friends, mm -hmm. your colleagues, the industry you're in, your team, things like that. So that if that happens, you'll be able to get something going again. Yeah. So in a sense, I'm having a huge deposit to people's heart. Mm. I have given away my booklet for free to 2.3 million people. Wow. So I have a list of those people uh, that I have given away, right? And so they feel like they owe me. That's why they're buying my books and right. courses. So I have uh, a huge, huge sort of invest, invisible asset and trust already saved up. And I've been giving away for so many things for the past 20 years. I've uh, done lectures for free. Mm -hmm. I've done so many uh, um, volunteer work for right. the people who are in need. So I have this reputation and trust among people. So uh, in the next situation, so whatever happens, uh, I can say, I'm going to talk about uh, the next situation and how we can build our assets in the you know new currency system, right. Right. new financial system. A lot of people want, want to listen to me. So I have built enough credibility so that's why I'm not afraid of going sure. bankrupt. Because uh, if I go bankrupt, I can say the joy of bankruptcy. You know, I can just say eight steps to recover from bankruptcy. <laughs> <laughs> you have a new book. <laughs> right, whatever that what is. I did and I'll teach you how to do it. Yeah. Right, so, uh, so I'm not worried uh, uh -huh. about anything at all.